Hey, Far More Money family, welcome back to another video. And this one we're gonna be talking about SoFi and the new investing app that they have. Also about the fact that it's going public here very soon in a SPAC merger deal with IPOE, which is owned by uh, one of the, the best SPAC kings out there, Chamat, right? So he's launched several SPACs, including IPOA, uh, IPOB, IPOC, IPOD, <laughs> IPOE, and IPOF. So um, some of the names out there are like Open Door, right? Uh, that's been launched by uh, Chamat as well, along with the Clover Health, which I've also made videos on before. Uh, it's one of the largest Medicare Advantage insurers out there. So uh, this SPAC is very interesting and it comes to light even more so now than ever, right? So as many of you have seen over the last week and a half, we've seen some extraordinary activity in GameStop, AMC, uh, basically any of the excessively shorted stocks, right? Uh, Robinhood, which is partnered, uh, and I don't want to get too much into, you know, I, I'm not making a video. This video is not about a sh describing what a short squeeze is. Uh, there's there's going to be plenty of conversation as we move forward that, that will be about it, but it's more so just, you know, the fundamentals. Robinhood, uh, you know, probably one of my uh, early apps that I had downloaded in regards to investing, right? It's great, very user-friendly, uh, you know, uh, takes care of what you need it to take care of, which is putting money into um, stocks and whatnot. Uh, I also got TD Ameritrade and Toss, and that also is a great platform. Now, Robinhood, which has been one of the most popular platforms in, you know, um, the younger age group and the younger generation decided this past week to basically stop trading and opening positions on GameStop, AMC, American Airlines, and uh, quite a few others, including Nokia, uh, because they, on the back end, work with Citadel Securities, which had a large short position on all these stocks. So Citadel expected, along with Citron and many of the other uh, hedge funds out there, for all of these stocks to basically die. That's just the, the, the best way to put it. Um, they would make a ton of money if, you know, these stocks basically go down under or fall, you know, to a, a, a price point where they can then cash in on their, you know, securities piece. Uh, obviously, you know, Reddit and the Wall Street Bets group decided to take action. And I think it's a pretty cool David versus Goliath story. Uh, you know, it, it's it's just crazy to me that Robin Hood is named Robin Hood, but then it also, you know, in turn feeds the rich instead of feeding the poor. So, uh, you know, just very, you know, crazy, crazy um, days in the market this past week. Tons of fluctuations. Uh, I expect it to possibly go on even into next week, probably the early part of next week and might slow down, especially once all the shorts are covered from the standpoint of Citadel, Citron. Uh, Melvin Capital, they all have to basically buy up all those shares that they've shorted. So uh, it'll be very interesting to see the next um, next week, especially Monday, Tuesday, kind of how market volatility plays in effect. From the standpoint of Robinhood, obviously, this is one of those apps that's been loved by many on YouTube. Uh, you know, everybody and and everybody has an account with Robinhood because it's just so simple. And that's where this enigma comes into play. It's made to make you more aware of investing the the founders and the CEO right that's been the entire goal this whole time is to is to create something that would help uh, people make money invest their money and then grow it over time but when it doesn't work in the advantage of Citadel Securities which is a Chicago based financial service giant they basically stopped halting uh, they stopped uh, trading on it right so you couldn't buy uh, you couldn't buy any more gamestop this past week on a couple of days you had to, you could only sell your positions you could not open new trade options you could not do any of that so from that standpoint you have to see how bad this looks for an app like Robinhood when you're made to help people succeed and make people money and then on the same go you're also preventing people from making money because you know, the, the stocks that are underlying the shorts, um, you know, from the hedge fund perspectives are going to lose a lot of money. And so what do you do? You stop trading on it. And it's extremely shady, uh, just not absolutely correct. And no one should, uh, in my opinion, 
uh, ever allow anything of that nature. And I think it's going to light uh, a nice light on the fact that uh, we need better regulation from these trading apps to ever do this again. Uh, you should not be able to just stop trading on any stock. Uh, it has nothing to do with, um, you know, uh, terrible behavior. There's no money laundering going on in a company. There's nothing of that nature. This is just a straight up David versus Goliath story where all these retail investors decided to wake up and say, hey, we're going to stick it to the to the hedge funds, we're going to stick it to the rich, and we're going to make money. Uh, once again, I, I just don't think it's right, but that's why I'm here today. We're going to talk about an app that I just downloaded, and we are going to um, talk about SoFi. So SoFi, as I said, it's being taken public here uh, over the next uh, you know month to two months. There's still not a merger date set. SoFi is going to be very big guys from the standpoint of it they've got you know chamat behind them basically funding and then on top of that it's a company that has always been very financially stable and very fiscally um you know solvent from that standpoint uh they continue to be an online personal finance company uh they offer a variety of financial products including student loan refinancing loans mortgages uh credit cards automated and active investments uh, the company knows how to make money, right? Um, they make money from lending products like student loan refinancing and personal loans. Uh, they make money from products by securitization and selling the loans to investors like pension funds and insurance funds. So these buyers pay premium upfront for future cash flows, basically. Uh, SoFi also makes money off of its investment products, so its app is phenomenal. Uh, I just downloaded it today. Uh, I will be adding money into it, and then I will be starting a journey of starting from zero, scratch, to basically taking it as far as we can take it. I'm not going to put a dollar value on it. I'm not going to say we're going to take it to 100K right off the bat, but what I will tell you is that I will cons consistently fund uh, this you know, app and we, we're going to you know, follow it daily, um, also weekly, and just see how we've done on in terms of gain. Um, I'm going to be starting with $1,000 and then, you know, we're going to see how it goes from there. So uh, exciting stuff. So IPOE is the stock and it's going to be a merger. IPOE currently is a SPAC. It'll merge with SoFi. IPO, IPOE stock has risen by 74% since it went public. And over the last week, it has just absolutely shot up. It's actually sitting right now at around $26. A lot of that has to do with the fact that of what's going on with Robinhood, TD Ameritrade, every single brokerage out there, Webull, which I also like. I mean, it's mind boggling that they all shut trading down on GameStop and AMC and Nokia and American Airlines, right? So basically that's where now SoFi is getting this added attention because everybody is looking for a new app that will allow um, transparency and will not do something like what just happened this past week where trading got stopped. Um, Chamat was uh, quoted on January 27th in an interview saying that he basically closed his position on GameStop and he defends retail investors' right to sway stocks like hedge funds or other big investors do. He thinks that the stock movement in GameStop is a pushback against the establishment. Uh, he thinks that retail investors are capable of doing research at par with the best on Wall Street. He's quoted as saying, the edge is gone. Now, all of a sudden, retail can be on the same footing and they don't have to be the bag holder to Wall Street. So basically what he's saying is that, you know, um, for the longest time, there's always been the bully in the playground, which has been the hedge funds, shorting companies, destroying companies, driving stock prices down, releasing reports, Citron Research. All he does every single, you know, um, month, week, day, from Andrew Left's perspective, is release short reports on why a stock sucks. And that's terrible because at the end of the day, it's just another way of market, manip market manipulation and you're making someone money. And the people making money are always the hedge funds prior to what happened in the last two weeks. So this is why this is going to be so important. From my perspective, like I said, I'm going to be buying into IPOE stock. I think SoFi from an overall perspective is a great company. Uh, we're going to, you know, to, you know, talk further about um, when I get when I get it funded by tonight, uh, the thousand dollars. We're going to start with that, and then we're going to follow that journey every single you know day, week. We're going to see it grow. Um, obviously, I'll be very transparent on what I put my money in and the plays and why I'm putting my money into that as well, right? Uh, so from that standpoint, guys, this is going to be one of those things where we're all going to work together to you know um, look at SoFi from that perspective. Uh, overall, 
The IPOE and SoFi deal is valued SoFi at $8.65 billion post money. The deal will provide SoFi with $2.4 billion in cash proceeds, including a $1.2 billion pipe led by uh, Chamat. So basically, a pipe is known as private investment in public equity. That's all it is. It's just money coming in. Uh, SoFi's enterprise value is about $6.5 billion, which is pretty freaking fantastic, guys, if you look at it. In 2019, SoFi raised $500 million at a valuation of $4.3 billion. Its current valuation implies a 2x value to the company's last private valuation. In my opinion, I think when this goes public, you can definitely see a, a run up in terms of stock price. Uh, it's a financial, you know, company. Uh, they never fail, and the fact that it has Chamat's backing uh, from that standpoint is just absolutely incredible. Uh, while a definitive definitive date for the merger hasn't been set, the companies expect the deal to close in the first quarter of 2021. Uh, the transaction is subject to approval by IPOE short shareholders and other customary closing conditions. So, uh, overall. Um, it should be going public here shortly. Uh, I'm excited. Like I said, another video coming out tonight where we're going to talk about how I'm going to be placing the $1,000 that I fund SoFi with uh, overall. Thanks so much, guys.